So, hey guys, Chelsea here. Time for another kid and law video. And we're going to abuse their unique mechanics today. And of course, the really unique thing about them is the fact that they let any damage bypass everything, including normal attacks only. One thing I haven't really talked about before, but actually makes a big deal is that this special says it ignores everything, including normal attacks only, defensive effects, etc. But usually this does not ignore increased defense. Nothing ignores increased defense. You have to remove it or set it to zero. And of course, Lauren Kid also sets defense to zero through full immunity. So their kit is basically perfect for this job of making any damage, being able to hit anything. And yeah, in this video, we're going to abuse that together with We2 Do Flamingo, which is actually really good now, thanks to this. Uh, his special is unique, basically. Well, we got some cheap copies like Trash Map Ulti, but this is the real deal. Basically, 2.5 times the damage you do when you kill an opponent, basically the overkill damage you do, is dealt to the enemy on the next stage. So if you do 10 million damage and kill something and use this special, you do 25 million damage on the next stage. So that's pretty good. So basically the strat when you use stuff is that, let's say we face an arena, five stage, stage four, we really make sure that one unit does insane damage to kill and then we can keep that damage to the next stage and basically multiply that insane damage by 2.5 times and yeah that's what we're going to do in this video i made two actually no stall speedrun teams uh, we're going to start with arena shinobu i thought we'd do one arena that is int or psi, since kid and law are int and psi, of course. And then one non-int and psi arena, just to show what you can do to still make this strat work. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this team. Like, sometimes when you start, like, you're prepared for, like, a trial and error process to start. But... Yeah, this basically worked on the first attempt, and that's not really common. Like, maybe if I have some, like, very specific idea, or if I run, like, a very good speedrun captain, but, like, this combo is not the best speedrun stuff, but, yeah, we were able to make it work, so pretty happy with that. And, yeah, I've said it before, but I do like Long Kids design a lot more than Luffy Yamato in terms of being this... 8 super swaps for super swap and you need to super swap to get the full potential of the unit because you can really control where getting CD unlike Luffy and Yamato where there's a lot of RNG to make most all speedruns work like Kid and Law is very easy to plan around like here I used X-Ray to get minus 2 swaps with that and yeah, then Blackbeard here basically perfectly sets up the super swap for final stage, so very dope. And yeah, Jack is really good. Here we get the shame boundary, remove the damage reductions at defense to zero, increase damage taken, and then we can use Blackbeard to just really set up that high damage hit. And you optimally you hit with Blackbeard just before killing Kinemon, but it really works out this perfectly that's like literally the dream scenario in terms of overkill and yeah uh, the thing with shinobi is that she actually has a lot of annoying mechanics but yeah king does counter the uh, only relevant one which which is the special bind and special reverse uh king also lets me use yak's uh, super class special so that's also a good combo I do mess up though, I should have super swapped first, but thankfully Drake is ready again, so yeah, it, it still worked, otherwise I could have just reset the turn and done it again. But yeah, with Kin and Law here in duo form their special, we allow the normal attacks only piercing special from Doflamingo, 
And yeah, as you can see now, we're going to very easily one a KO Shinobu here. And yeah, it's fun to use this as an actual legit strat, like no stall speedrun team and everything. And I imagine this will work for a lot of arena and such going forward. Very easy kill there. Anyway, I made one more team with the strat. We're going to do Arena Frankie, which is a Dex and Quick focus content. And obviously not that great when you have a captain that is only uh, Psy and Int. But of course you can abuse captain swaps. And for fun I went with Jerma here since I always love using Jerma. And uh, using Jerma for Doffy teams has been common since way before, like we had a strat with We Want Brook, Jerma and Doffy, where the strat is that uh, you die with Brook to remove normal attacks only, then use Jerma to swap Jerma up as captain, so you get a good captain, since Brook wasn't good before level limit break, and then you do tons of damage with Jerma, and then for final stage you can kill with Doffy. That was a very legit strat, so kind of bringing it back here, but here it's more like uh, we remove the Psy and In Captain, but we still have Psy and In, but the Psy Captain now does super effective damage against everything, so yeah. Like this could have been anything, could have been Super Fast Captain Swap for example. It depends on the friend Captain, I just went with the kid friend Captain here since really good speedrun Captain, and yeah, he also had some nice damage I guess, so not too bad. I actually recorded this team quite a way back, so don't really remember the strats 100%. But yeah, we did actually use Germa Stage 3, which is pretty cool since a 3 turn Captain Swap and War Boost. And yeah, now we just build up as much chain as possible and get the key with Germa. And yeah, not the biggest damage, but it depends on the HP of the final boss, where this strat works or not. And yeah, we're going to abuse the support that is in the metal exchange now. Like when I made this team, I had no idea we were actually going to get this uh, treasure map Luffy as uh, being able to buy him. But yeah, I'm very happy about that. So as I've said in the video covering that, like that support is great. Even good for killing Law because Law doesn't have a unit that lets you remove buying the Sparrow Paro and using a special. It's incredibly valuable support. And yeah, with that, we can just use Doffy, and it's the same thing again. We just want hit KO. And I'm sure I will use this strat again, but for now, you get to enjoy this. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll probably do something more with Kid and Law. They are very fun to use. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.